Would you look at this? It's a half pint film, bitch. Yeah. I had to elevate, even though they deaf in the little beam, man, I can tell they fake. Even though they tell me keep pushing, I can tell they hate. Niggas swear to God, they up in there. You walk in cash, you gotta elevate. 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 Got out my ass, I had to elevate. Elevate. You wanna fuck these hoes, they elevate. Elevate. You wanna rock these hoes. We call it amputation. Used to ride around with no registration. Now I keep on adding commas, call it calculation. Run through that fucking pack, made it my obligation. Stay selling shit. I didn't serve half of the population. Yeah, sugar through the city, sipping medication. Can keep them a hundred by themselves, we call it segregation. Quit calling me your kid, folk, there is no relation. I'm just trying to bow like a cancer You want to catch you, yeah. Gotta elevate, yeah. elevate. Got out my ass, I had to elevate. Elevate. You wanna fuck these hoes, they elevate. Elevate. You wanna rock these shows, they elevate. Elevate. Say, you ain't elevate, my nigga. Elevate. Say, you ain't elevate, my nigga. Elevate. You ain't elevate, my nigga. Elevate. Say, you ain't elevate. Hey man, y'all heard it here first. Y'all heard it here first, man. Y'all know what's going on. We back with another one. Like and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? It's free. It do not cost a fee. You feel me? I am your boy K Stacks. I got my road dog, my nigga T Time over there. What's up, my boy? We all my boy. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all already on that Drake. But uh, we got a very special guest in the building. I'ma go ahead and let him pop his shit. What's good, man? Stay down a little bit in the motherfucking building, dog. Stay down a little bit. What's up, bro? I appreciate you coming through fucking with us, bro. Oh, for sure. Square B and Network. <coughs> Let's start it out like this. For the folks that may not know, tell the people about you. Shit, just, you know, just a regular nigga out here just building brands, chasing dreams, and just the regular shit, you know? Yeah. Where you come from? Lancaster. Yeah. Real time. Yep. Lancaster, Texas. Yeah. So... You a man I see that you do, uh, I guess, a few things. You know what I'm saying? We do the music. You do the clothes. And you also uh, do some promoting. Shit, right? Yeah, club. Okay. How exactly did you get into music? Uh, I really got into music just from, like, you know, like, being young and high school and shit. Nigga really just rapping with my partners and doing talent shows and shit like that. We just didn't ever stop doing it. Yeah. You just started taking the series at a certain point. Yeah, straight like that. Yeah. As far as the music though, uh, how many projects do you think you got out now? People? Uh, probably about ten or twelve. Ten or twelve whole projects. Yeah. EPs, albums, mixtapes, what? Uh, mixtapes slash album. Like mixtapes, but all I ain't, they all got original beats. Yeah. Like really albums. And so that mean you had to be in the game for a minute for a nigga to have that catalog. Yeah, hey, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Hey, what, yeah. What do you think your process is when you go in the studio? Uh. Shit, just pick a beat and just start talking on the mic. That's yeah. it. Yep, straight up. Wrong with that, bro. You are you write your shit though, or do you, or do you just go out the head? Certain shit, like if I'm riding the car and I'm playing a beat, if I come up with some shit, I drop down some ideas. But certain, but a lot of shit just be out the head. I do, I can yeah. do both on the fly. Yeah, So you say you from Lancaster, huh? Yeah. How many siblings? Uh, one. Just two. One? I got an older sister and a, a younger brother. Okay, okay. So you the oldest? Uh, nah, I'm the middle. The middle child? Okay. Yeah. Same parent home? Yeah. Mama uh, and dad? <coughs> yeah. 
for the most part, you know, like shit when shit split up. Okay. But for the most part, you know. Yeah. No wrong with that, bro. So <laughs> when you first started your brand, how long did it really take to you know to gain a lot of traction with it, bro? Uh, really took a long time. Like, uh, I say, I say, like the first couple of years, you know, you just getting the word out. Then after you get the word out, you can kind of really work your move with it. So, I, okay, okay, that's what's up. How did you you come up with the name Stay Down, man? Just a uh, slogan that you go by every day, or I, you know, like when we was young, like I'm from Lancaster, but how I grew up, like my whole family, like I grew up in Highland Hill. Okay, so like I grew up amongst a lot of niggas, and when we used to shoot dice, you know, like when you young and you lose, and the old niggas be like, "Stay down, young nigga." Yeah. And that and that shit just stuck with me from dice game. Okay, real shit. My nigga said that house started from dice game. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like the origin of how you even popped off and all that shit. Huh? Yeah, yeah. The meaning is way bigger than that now, but this the word "stay down" yeah. came from when niggas shooting dice and you know, like you young, like yeah. you done lost like a hundred dollars, you tapped out. Old nigga be like, "Stay down, nigga. You gonna come back up." And this what, that shit. what what do you think? Like, what piece of clothes exactly do you think is the one that you put out that took you to the next level, or had more, more motherfuckers realize? Okay, boom, this nigga doing this, this nigga doing that. Like, which one of those articles of clothes you feel like took you off a little bit? Uh, at first, we were just doing t-shirts, but all the female shit is what took it to the next level. Like, when we started doing like little tights and shit like that for the female. Yeah. Females the ones that really put your shit on. They support you harder? Yeah, way harder. You know, a nigga will wear your shit, but a female will rep your shit. On me. You, you know, know what I'm saying? And she going to let them know where the fuck she got it from, too. Yeah, she going to show a nigga where to follow you all this shit. Nah, facts. Showing a little love. <laughs> so how did you get into, like, promoting, bro? Like, you know, and what word of advice would you give to somebody who wants to get into that field? Uh, yeah, I remember R.I.P. DJ Dip. Yeah. Uh. I, I had been moving around, rapping a lot in the city. You know what I'm saying? And Dip, we always fucked around. He always just telling me, like, bro, you need to do some, like, throw some shit. But I ain't never want to do it. And then finally we did an event together, me, me, Dip, and DJ Trap. We did a New Year's Eve party. And after that, I just kept going with it. How was the yeah. turnout? It was all right. It wasn't all it. Yeah. It wasn't bad, though. Did it motivate you to keep doing it, though? I mean, when I seen it with money and the shit, I just started chasing the money. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like you hustling and shit. Yeah. And you said, like, what would advice I give somebody and want to get in the shit? Yeah. I mean, you just got to understand what it is. It's an everyday grind. So it's like, if I got an event tonight, which is Saturday, I got another event next Saturday. So after tonight, Tomorrow, I got to already get my flyers and shit ready because you only get a week to promote. So it's like never stopping. You just got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to be prepared for what you're getting yourself involved in. All the time, okay. Yeah. So what what would you say the top five, you know, scenes that, you know, that really be loud nowadays? You said the top five what? Clubs. Or uh, little get-togethers or wherever. Top five club. Uh, say Turkey Down. Turkey Down. Bitter End. Um, four quarter. Uh, air you want to live in? She. Uh, theory. Shit like that. Theory ain't in there. Huh? Area. Yeah, I put area in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, we going crazy on Friday. Definitely in there. So tell me this: How do you balance out, bro? Like <clears throat> all the things that you do, like that's music. Some, that's some shit I really don't even know. <laughs> I just be going. Just go with it. Yep. I'm pretty sure this shit got to be hard, like family, music, clothes. I got promoting. six kids. Yeah. Six kids. Shout out to them babies, man. See, I know you're holding it down for them. Like, so you just basically say you just wing it, like you just go let God deal with it, just. And yep. shit. Pretty much. Yep. Just get a little sleep when I can. Rest when I'm up. It's go time. Do you think you are? <clears throat> Respected as an artist. Uh, 
probably not respected as an artist, but I'm respected as like a mogul. Like as far as my music, like my music ain't never go where it need to go. But I'm not one of the niggas that just stuck around and got bitter. I started doing other shit. Yeah. So yeah, like, I'm just. Re- yeah, I'm respected as like more of a brand. Yeah. But I feel like when I drop my new shit, I'm gonna be respected as an artist too. Was it was it always the game plan to get respected as a brand overall? Is just something that's like you just grew into? Uh, I never really planned on doing a brand like this. I started a brand because I was a rapper first, but every time I was rapping like my songs, I was doing good, but I always had a ceiling. But I was like, damn, like why my music keeps stopping right here? And I was like, damn, I ain't really had the money or the money or the audience to get where I wanted to go. So that's why I started building my brand so I could have a platform.